Hi, my name's Ruth and I've just been awarded a franchise with the Creation Station and previously to this I was working in local authority. I decided to explore the franchise opportunity after a long time of soul searching and realising that my um, time in local authority was coming to an end and it really wasn't where I wanted to be anymore. So instead of looking at what I could do, which I did for about two years, I started exploring the things that I really wanted to do. And in previous positions I'd had really good fun working with under fives and being a visiting specialist in schools and I'm also a mummy. So the chance to bring all those things together and be at home a lot more, it was a no-brainer. So I looked online, um, hadn't really thought of franchises before so it surprised me a little bit but I remembered things I'd done when Connor was very little and I explored those different things, different opportunities, and they still weren't right. And I hadn't heard about the Creation Station, because where I live, in the north of Scotland, there was nobody doing it, so it was very new, but it appealed instantly. And I made the phone call and just asked, was there anybody available? And they said, no, would you like to talk? So that's how I started. There you go. <laughs> I actually came to the Creation Station at the very beginning of October last year and the first question was could I possibly attend a discovery morning to find out more and I said of course I would love to and the next discovery was morning was going to be in Devon and I live in Aberdeen so not an insurmountable hurdle but a little bit too far and I was actually taking the family away to Disney um, for a very big holiday, very exciting so I had to juggle. And my best question I've asked yet was, where is your next discovery morning? And it was going to be York, which is where my in-laws live. So it was not a problem. I came home from Disney, repacked my bag and brought Lexi to our first discovery morning in York. I also brought my mother-in-law, which was a challenge. Um, and all three of us, it was very interesting for all three of us to explore the discovery morning. We met other franchisees, other families interested in the business. Sarah, managing director and my feelings before I walked in to walking out were as far apart as I could be. I was physically ill <laughs> coming into the building and it wasn't because I was worried about what was going to happen, it, I was more worried if it didn't happen because I'd done so much exploring and soul searching and if the creation station wasn't what I thought it was I didn't know where I'd go so I was actually really upset coming to it because I was so excited. Um, so I dragged Lexi in um, and we started the career, we, we did the um, morning activities, an actual session. And within five minutes, this little face looked up and said, Mommy, I really like this. And I just thought, well, I can either stay at work and be miserable, or I can bring my daughter to work and we can do this every day. And um, I asked my mum too, my mum-in-law mum too, and what she thought, and she just went, it's really nice. And um, I think you can do this too, and she was very supportive. Um, I didn't actually manage to talk to Sarah at the end of the creation station because it was so busy at the end of the discovery morning. Very, very busy and I actually didn't think she'd notice me because I was very quiet. Um, but it's because I was listening. It was very important that I got all my questions um, answered and I was looking at all the other parents. Who else was interested in this opportunity? Did I fit in? Were the franchisees like me? Um, other people had brought their husbands and I couldn't do that. So that felt a little bit scary as well. I, I felt a little bit that maybe I didn't fit in because I was very quiet. So I left, thanked everybody, I'd spoken to the franchisees and I went home. And that was Saturday night and I waited and waited and waited until really early on Sunday morning when Sarah phoned me up and offered me my franchise opportunity um, where I whooped whooped around the bedroom quietly because Sarah was on the phone um, <laughs> and had a very grown up conversation using big words to sound intelligent. And, um, and took it from there. So that took, that was October. My journey from October to March has been quite difficult. Um, it was an investment, it was a life-changing decision for my family and my husband had just changed jobs and he wasn't going to be paid until after Christmas from October till January and um, we have commitments. So I promised to stay at work for those four extra months and support him if I could then have the creation station dream and leave and he said yes so it's taken me till March I finished my job on Thursday I got on a train on Monday morning I attended training on Tuesday 
I've had four days of hard work, many laughs and much cake and um, love the team dearly and that's me at the end of my training. Very happy indeed, thank you.